Hello everybody, this is William Amzalag and I want to welcome you to our sixth episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth. Have you heard about telomeres? Probably not. Telomeres are the end of the chromosome. They are here to protect our DNA. They are also made of DNA, but the sequences which are forming telomeres are repetitive DNA, which means that they are made of the same genetic codes repeated 2,000 times. One way to describe telomeres is to compare them to aglets. You know, these plastic caps at the end of the shoelaces. Just as aglets keep shoelaces from falling apart at the end, telomeres keep the ends of DNA from fraying. So why this DNA is made of repetitive DNA sequences? What for? When cells divide and multiply, it is very important that the DNA remain intact. If we lose portion of the information which is our, in our DNA every time it is replicated, human life will just be impossible. So with every replication of our DNA, part of the telomere sequence is chopped off. But this really doesn't matter because we are losing the same sequences of nucleotides, the same code. There is still another identical sequence. This is how nature protects the DNA in a chromosome. Meanwhile, after 50 to 70 division, the cells in our body reach a stage where there is no more telomeres to protect our DNA, so these cells cannot longer reproduce themselves. They reach what we call a retirement-like state in which they die or no longer divide. This end point is called senescence. And when senescence reach a majority of cells, we die of old age. Today, we can measure the biological age of cells by the length of the telomere. When we are conceived, the embryo has about 15,000 bas pair in its telomere. By the way, a bas pair is a standard unit of measurement in the chromosome. And the total length of a DNA strand is 3 billion bas pairs. So after many replication, a newborn have only 10,000 pairs in each telomeres. And we already lost 33% of our telomere length. In a sense, we start to die the minute we are conceived. When telomeres are reduced to 5,000 bas pair, our cells become senescent and die. We are losing approximately 40 to 50 bas pairs every year. So theoretically, it should take 120 years to get all our telomeres reaching these 5,000 bas pairs. This is why some scientists believe that the maximum lifespan, lifespan is about 120 years. And by the way, the world record of longevity is still belonging to Jeanne Calment, a French lady who died in 1997 at the age of 122 years. What a coincidence! Even worse, when a good proportion of telomeres are reaching the 5,000 pair limit, our immune system is not longer efficient and we become very sensitive to chronic diseases. Why 
telomeres are shortening in humans while in some other species they are always at full length. Elizabeth Blackburn from the University of California, Berkeley, discover why and with this discovery she win the Nobel Prize in 2009. While she was working on germinal cell, you know, the ones which are responsible for reproduction, she find out that their telomeres never shorten. And this is against a nature miracle, in a sense that life will be impossible if an embryo inherited from his parent short telomeres. Considering the millions of necessary cells duplication during pregnancy, all the cells will reach senescence in few days and the fetus will never reach maturity. Elizabeth find out why the germinal cells has a special enzyme called telomerase, which is genetically controlled and activated permanently. When telomerase is activated, it will rebuild every piece of telomere which is lost and this is almost magic, piece by piece, brick by brick. So why it is not the same in all the other cells? Elizabeth Brackburn find out that all our cells possess telomerase, but unfortunately they are in a sleeping state. Their gene is repressing them to work. Why? Well, it's still a secret that nature is keeping. But if we discover how to turn the telomerase gene from off to on, in all our cells, we may have the secret of immortality. And this is why many research labs try to discover. One of them, the Geron Corporation in US, while working on ancient Chinese remedies, discover that in the root of one herb called Astragalus membranus, there was one specific ingredient capable of turning on the telomerase gene. They call it telomerase activator and give, them, give it a special name code, TA65. Geron Corporation work almost 10 